embark on a journey through time as we explore the story of prehistoric humans across North America, including Mexico. These ancient sites reveal the early evidence of human life on the continent, offering a glimpse into the cultures, lifestyles, and survival strategies that shape the history of the Americas. Our story begins with the Clovis culture in New Mexico, one of the earliest known inhabitants of North America dating back over 13,000 years. The Clovis culture is famous for its distinctive stone tools known as Clovis points, which were used for hunting large game such as mammoths. The finely crafted points are made from various materials, including chert and obsidian, indicating an advanced knowledge of tool making. The significance of the Clovis culture lies in its widespread presence across North America, suggesting a rapid spread of human populations. Artifacts from the Clovis culture are on display at several institutions, including the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History in Washington, D.C., where visitors can see these early tools and learn about the life of the first known inhabitants of the continent. Moving east, we find the Meadowcroft Rock Shelter in Pennsylvania, which provides evidence that humans may have arrived in North America much earlier than previously thought, with artifacts dating back at least 16,000 years. The site challenges the long-held view that the Clovis culture represents the first wave of human migration. Excavations at Meadowcroft revealed tools, fire pits, and animal bones, offering insights into the diet and daily activities of these early inhabitants. The site itself is open to the public with the Meadowcroft Rock Shelter and Historic Village in Avella, Pennsylvania, featuring exhibits that display the artifacts and present reconstructions of prehistoric life. The debate over Meadowcroft's timeline continues to be a central topic in understanding the peopling of the Americas. Heading west to Colorado, the Linden Meyer site offers a fascinating look into the Folsom culture, which thrived around 12,000 years ago. The site contains an impressive array of tools and bones, revealing that early humans hunted bison and other large mammals. What sets Lindenmeyer apart is the evidence of long-term habitation, indicating that these early people returned to the site seasonally. The tools found here include Folsom points, which are smaller and more refined than the Clovis points, reflecting an evolution in hunting technology. The Denver Museum of Nature and Science in Denver, Colorado, houses artifacts from the Lindenmeyer site, providing visitors with a glimpse into the adaptation strategies of humans during a time of significant climatic changes following the Ice Age. In Washington, the discovery of Kenuik Man along the banks of the Columbia River added a new chapter to the story of prehistoric humans in North America. This 9,000-year-old skeleton is one of the most complete ancient remains found on the continent. Kenyuk Man's discovery sparked debates about his origins, with various theories suggesting connections to different early human populations. His skeletal structure differs significantly from modern Native American populations, raising questions about early migration routes and cultural exchanges. Although the original remains were reburied in 2017, casts and reconstructions of Kennewick Man are displayed at the Burke Museum of Natural History and Culture in Seattle, Washington, where visitors can explore the scientific and cultural significance of this ancient individual. Texas is home to the Galt site, a location with evidence of human occupation stretching back over 16,000 years. Located near Austin, the Galt site has yielded 
an abundance of stone tools and cultural artifacts suggesting a long-term and diverse use of the area. Excavations have uncovered projectile points, scrapers, and other tools made from locally sourced chert. This site is significant not only for its age, but also for the variety of artifacts found, which indicate complex social and economic behaviors among early inhabitants. The Texas Memorial Museum in Austin, Texas, features artifacts from the Galt site, offering a detailed look at the technological advancements of prehistoric humans in the region. One of the most iconic locations for prehistoric life in California is the La Brea Tar Pits, where human bones have been found alongside the remains of large Ice Age animals, such as mammoths, dire wolves, and saber-toothed cats. The tar pits provide a rare preservation environment, allowing for the discovery of well-preserved bones and even some organic materials like plant remains and insects. Evidence suggests that humans hunted the megafauna that roamed the Los Angeles basin around 10,000 years ago. The La Brea Tar Pits and Museum in Los Angeles, California showcases many of these finds, including a reconstructed mammoth skeleton and exhibits that explore the interactions between humans and Ice Age fauna. Turning to Mexico, the Tlapacoya archaeological site near Mexico City offers evidence of some of the oldest human habitation in the region, dating back approximately 21,000 years. Stone tools and animal remains found at the site suggest a hunter-gatherer lifestyle with possible butchering of large mammals. The findings at Tlapacoya challenge the traditional timeline of human migration into the Americas, suggesting an even earlier presence than previously recognized. The National Museum of Anthropology in Mexico City, Mexico, features artifacts from Tlapacoya, providing insights into ancient life in the central Mexican plateau. Another significant location in Mexico is Cueva de la Golondrina in Chihuahua, where stone tools and other artifacts date back to about 12,000 years ago. The cave was used by early humans for shelter and hunting activities, with evidence of tool making and possible seasonal habitation. The artifacts discovered include scrapers, projectile points, and other implements that suggest a well-adapted group of people capable of surviving in the rugged terrain of northern Mexico. These artifacts are displayed at the Museo Regional de Chihuahua in Chihuahua, Mexico, where visitors can learn about the region's deep prehistoric roots. In the far north, bluefish caves in the Yukon offers some of the earliest evidence of human activity in North America, dating back approximately 24,000 years. The site contains stone tools and butchered animal bones, indicating that humans occupied the area during the last glacial maximum, possibly using it as a refuge from harsher conditions elsewhere. The evidence from bluefish caves has significant implications for understanding the migration patterns of early humans into the Americas, suggesting that people may have arrived earlier than the traditional Clovis first theory proposes. Artifacts from the site can be viewed at the Canadian Museum of History in Gatineau, Quebec, Canada, offering an important perspective on the ancient peopling of the Americas. Although not located in North America, Monte Verde in Chile is an essential part of the narrative. Its findings date back around 18,500 years, making it one of the earliest known human occupation sites in the Americas. The site provides evidence of a coastal migration route that may have allowed early humans to travel 
along the western edge of the Americas. Artifacts from Monte Verde include stone tools, bones, and evidence of plant use, all of which suggest a well-adapted culture capable of thriving in diverse environments. The Museo de Historia Natural de Concepción in Concepción, Chile, displays artifacts from Monte Verde, linking the history of early human migration from North America to South America. These ten locations paint a vivid picture of prehistoric human life in North America and beyond, illustrating the resilience and adaptability of early cultures in the face of changing climates and environments. Each site offers a unique window into the lives of our ancient ancestors, helping us understand the complex history of human settlement across the continent.